if you read Genesis, you'll find out there, there's water above us, water below us. They even discovered water below. And yes, those are the two light bulbs referring to the sun and the uh, moon. So I... So here's where my where my confusion well no where it doesn't make sense to me. And as I said, I'm not a Bible expert, but I don't think that anybody's really a Bible expert. Um it, because there's just we all could be experts, let's just put it that way. I know people that have studied it forever, yeah, and they also went to uh, a lot of times those uh Secret society schools, just saying. <laughs> um, so I looked up in the Geneva Bible. I looked up in the King James Version, in the New English Translation, and um, and then one other one, just to see. Because in some places they say um, firmament, and in some places they say expanse, which means this vault. Basically, pretty much meaning the same thing. But when you hear people describe it or, or draw a picture of it, let's say that. There's the firmament, right? And then there's the water below, and then there's us. And then there's the water above the firmament. And they, they show the water right above the firmament. However, um, God refers to the firmament as heaven. The firmament of heaven. So then that leads me to believe that the sun and, and the moon are on his side of the firmament. And then this also lines up even more so with climate change. I, I don't believe in climate change, not the way they talk about it. But uh, for decades, uh, this has been a big fear of theirs. So there might be some legitimacy to it. Not to climate change hurting us, no. But that it being detrimental to them, to the, uh, to the wicked. Because when, when, Jesus, when Jesus returns, it is the end of the wicked. It is. It's, they're judged, condemned. It's, it's by. It's by now. So who's the one? one um, who's the very top of that wicked chain? Um, who is that? That's that fallen angel, right? That fallen angel knows about that firmament. He knows about heaven. He knows where the sun is. And since I, I this is why I posted today, um, Al Gore talking about, or, or was it Ellen DeGeneres asking him, and other people have read this. You, If you're awake, you've, you know how Bill Gates has talked about this, wanting to block out the sun. Why would they want to block out? The, well, because they wouldn't want it to melt the firmament. The sky ice. Because if that melts, then it's just, it's all of God's glorious kingdom. There's no longer the separation. So if the sun is, is heating, maybe that's God's plan is for it to melt, which would absolutely be a crisis to that fallen one and his soldiers. If you know what I mean, if you don't believe in the Bible, move on because this will be just crazy to you. Um, but no, seriously, because if the if God re and there's plenty of places where God refers to the firmament of heaven, and yet we know we're not in heaven. We know heaven's above us. But if you, if God placed the sun and the moon in the firmament of heaven, then it wouldn't be below the firmament here. It wouldn't be under the firmament. It would be, and I know it says in it, but it still, it says it in the firmament of heaven. So it's, it's more on that side. It's more on God's side because God resides in heaven. Do you, does that make sense? Because that makes, that would line up with what is going on. Why the, why the wicked for 
My whole adult life has been petrified of this climate crisis. And yet there's not a climate crisis the way they're talking about it. But for that side, for those people that worship Baal, for those people that follow that wicked one as their God, yeah, that's a crisis because they, they don't, their days will be over if that firmament melts. I don't know if that, yeah, that should make sense. Every picture you look at, if whenever anybody's tried to draw the firmament, and they always show the sun and the moon under the firmament. Like it's it's within, I hate to say dome, but it is like a dome. Um, if you look at the, if, if you, the firmament, if you consider the firmament that sky ice, that sky water, that's ice that they've been trying to drill through, in Antarctica, then, then, put it this way, if the sun was on our side of the firmament, because God's above the firmament, and if the, if the sun was on our side of the firmament, which would mean it's below, then they're, they're, they, they wouldn't be carrying on about worrying about a climate crisis. They wouldn't. I know people think, oh, no, they're, well, they're doing all that just to be wicked and be nasty to us. And they, Yeah, I get all that. They're just wicked people that have been doing stuff for a long time. But I understand that. But there's also some truth to some of the stuff they do. So there's some truth to the climate change. It's just the climate change isn't a danger to us. We should welcome it, actually. Unless you walk with the wicked, you should welcome it. You should be like, no, I'm on board for climate change. Bring it. Let's let's bring on the climate change. We need it. Yes, we need the, we need everything to heat up. <laughs> Melt the firmament. <laughs> but it would make sense and go along with the Bible to to it that the, there's no way the sun's on, on under the firmament. It, God doesn't even say it's under the firmament. God says it's in the, the, the firmament of heaven. So, it would be above that sky ice that they've been, you know, having all their expeditions in Antarctica forever looking at. It makes sense. If you sit back and think about it, it makes sense. It makes sense why uh, Lucifer would definitely be not wanting uh, the, the sun to be heating up. Because he, more than anybody, would see that as a crisis. Because he knows he knows what the outcome is. Let's put it that way, right? He knows what the outcome is. What eventually the outcome is for him and his soldiers. So, um, there's no way that uh, the firmament is under, it, that the sun is under the firmament. It's above it. That's why they're afraid of it, the, it getting hotter. Because if it melts that, that's the way Jesus returns. It's talked about in Revelations. Jesus comes riding on a cloud. Yeah, after the firmament melts because the sun's on the other side of the firmament. It's not, it's not under it. It's in the firmament of heaven. Just something to think about. Because it goes hand in hand with why those wicked people that don't seem to care about anybody but themselves see the climate as such a crisis. It's only a crisis for them. The rest of us know we should be welcoming and being on board with the climate change because it means, well, it means actually seeing the entire vault of heaven. <laughs> 